the very end of everybody. This is at the very end. The last two master sets in the series, the 25th anniversary. Yep, that's how I talk. And the very ending with the very first Ultimate Masters, arguably the best booster box ever done in the history of Masters sets. So first, we're going to put Justin ending this reoccurring nightmare. Anybody get it? Of Masters Trilogy Series 7 box trilogy. This is it. The very end. We're going to put Masters 25. Another hated set from the iconic Master Master 25 block against the all-time best master set in the history of Rudy's hairy arm. We're going to see. We're going to put them against each other. The best versus the worst in the conclusion of the Thunderdome. Hi, my name's um, CR. They call me Creepy Rudy. And good luck, everybody. Thank you again for just... Ooh, Spirit Guide. Thank you again, Justin, for allowing us to play with your Titan and get ourselves a nice Ash Baron as the first foil in the first mythic rare whatever okay so obviously the ultimate masters box should destroy this masters 25 doomsday is our first mythic and it looks like ultimate masters is going to crush m25 here with the spell bomb well i can tell you right now that is not the mythic we want remember there is jace there is a some there's some heavy hitters in the old masters 25 remember that everybody Decree of Justice and a beautiful, beautiful foil. Um, I don't know why I put the foil there. So, if anyone hasn't noticed, by the way, as of the filming of this video, the Masters 25 boxes are still upticking. Vesuvian Shapeshifter with a Dragon's Eye Savant. That is not going to get us anywhere. These are no longer 130, 140 a box. Last I saw, they're now in the 160s and climbing. Distributors are not pumping them out anymore with a nice Conflex. Always liked that card. Thought that was a spicy little card. With, look at that little Vidalk Knight. Well, so far we're doing terrible. Once again, Justin, you are doing terrible on the start. Swift Foot Booth. Oop, Street Oh, Street Rats an Uncommon. Totally forgot. Inv wow, look at that Uncommon lineup. With a Pendlehaven. With, wow, that is actually a really good pack. Three good uncommons, a decent rare, and an uh, infiltrator. Alright, so we may be nickel and diming our way to getting somewhere, but unless we get heavy hitters, you're not going to crush those numbers, everybody. God, I wish I looked like that. I wish I looked like that. Instead, I look like that. And by that, I mean like the fuzzy stuff on the side. And the call. Why is that a rare and a master set? I have no idea. Wooly Loxodon. Well, this once again is not good. Okay, Ash Baron's Fall Angel and a Flooded Grove. I like these lands. I know people don't. I was a huge... When they announced they were putting this in this series, I was really excited about it. And again, I also am really excited. I love the fact they put the set symbol of where the card came from. That's like a really cool thing to me. To me, I know it doesn't do anything financially, but I thought that was a really, really nice touch. Just my opinion. Anthalia! Nice little rare there instead of a mythic. And epic Khan's Dragon's Cartier card. So there is a lot of neat little spicy thing. I and mean, look at that Urza's Legacy logo. I mean, that is really, that really does it for me, everybody. All right, and Elvish Piper from Urza's Destiny. I know, everyone's like, really? Elvish Piper of every card from Destiny? But remember, those reserveless cards, they were kind of limited. Oh, God, I hope I don't look like that tomorrow morning. All right, and here we go. So far, this box is a solid 3 out of 10. And Cascade Bluffs. I love those lands. I know the meat market does not. That is a really cool, uncommon cavern foil. Okay. By the way, anybody notice the different artwork on the morph token? Little things. Little things, everybody. Wow. Halfway through the box, complete dumpster fire again. Curiosity. Treasuring your curiosity. Boros Charm. Oh my god, I used to sell hundreds of those in the gate crash time for three bucks a piece. And a rat catcher with a loyal sentry. Oh, man, why are we just missing every good card? Unbelievable. All right, Swift Foot, Tar. Eh, by the, you know, the little Biden isn't been too bad. It's gone up a little bit. Ooh, Foil Counterspell. You know, this was actually like $20, $30 at one point. I'm sure it's like a couple bucks now. But Foil Counterspells used to be very expensive. Just laying that out there. I don't know if anybody even knew that. It was Foil Counterspells, uh, Foil Ponder. 
Really? An Exelon card? Foil Counterspells, Foil Ponders. There's a couple of them. Grenzo from Conspiracy 1 with a Primal Clay. See, that was people's complaints on Masters 25. Really expensive cards. I mean, we're getting neat stuff, but financial value-wise, definitely kind of rough. Here we go. And Brian with a looter. Well, we just finished two-thirds of the box. This set is a Mythic or Break box. And we have, that's our Mythic lineup up here, everybody. Right in the middle of the teeth. And there's our Arabian Nights card. I mean, you know, very limited on that, obviously. And uh, here we go. Okay. Eisen Shade from Homelands. A plus on that choice. Beautiful, beautiful Utopia. Lightning Bolt and a Blue Sun Zenith. And a Cinder... Oh my god. Come on! This is ridiculous! No Mythics. No Foil Rare. Are you serious? Come on, man. Alright, Quicksand. Hell's Caretaker from Legends. I know, it's like, really? I have every card to pick from Legends? But, you know, they were limited, so... Ooh! Foil Dark Ritual. That's kind of sweet. Again, some of those weird Counterspell Dark Ritual cards and Foil were actually used to be worth a lot of money. I doubt they are now, but at one point... They were all pretty pricey. Ancient Stirrings, Fantastic Uncommon, Elemental, and Vendil. Finally! Bob! Finally, we got something! Finally, Vendillion Click with a path. Look at Rudy sneaking through that back door. Rudy, are you supposed to sneak through the back door? Giggity? Is that a giggity? I think it's a giggity. Vendillion Click, one good mythic in the whole flipping box. I was like, come on. All right, we got this. We got to stay focused. I know, that's our Portal 3 Kingdom card. But again, Portal 3 Kingdom cards, you know. Ah, uh, the champion. Couple dollar card. And beautiful, beautiful angel card from the old Urza saga. Love that artwork. Well, this box, uh, because we have Vendillion Click, I'm going to bump it up to a 4 out of 10 on this box. I'm not going to give it a good grade. This is just very, very weak. Pernicious Deed. That's actually a good... Oh, they don't... I thought it was Conspiracy? Oh, Original Apocalypse. Oh, Foil Ancient Stir... Wow, that was a good pack. Foil Ancient Stirrings and a Pernicious. Wow. That's a nice pack. Foil, I used to sell Foil Ancient Stirrings for like 15, 20 bucks a card back in the day. Ancient Grave from the Portal era. Ancient Stirrings again. Wait, am I calling it Stirrings? Or Strings? I don't remember what I was saying. And a terrible rare. And Rudy climbing in your window. Terrible. Well, we have three packs left, everybody. Again, thank you, Justin, for allowing everybody to feel you're being punched in the nuts right now. And uh, I still wouldn't turn her down. I still wouldn't turn her down. Oh, my God. The Chupaco. Oh, my God. From that thing. I remember that. Hey! Mikokoro, Center of the Sea with a foil mythic. We got a foil mythic, and it's probably the worst foil mythic in the set! That's actually a really good pack. I cannot believe we just got a foil of Chroma. Gorgeous artwork. We got a foil Mythic. I wish it was a Vendillion Click or a Jace or something. And a Center of the Seed. Oh, it's a rare. I thought that was a Mythic. Holy crap. So we're still only at two Mythics. Alright, so this box did produce a few spicy things. I'm going to bump it from a 4 to 4. 4.2 now. Rank and a Raishadin Port. Wow, some last minute. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, okay. So now on the very end... Last pack. All right, so we got some spiciness at the close here. We got some spiciness. All right, Victor Congregate Landscape and a Twilight Mire Hordling Outburst. Actually, a decent con. That was from cons. It was an uncommon. Downshifted to a common. We had three of the, the land cycle. Not bad. Richard and Port, Me Center of the Sea, Mikikoro, Pernicious. Actually, we got some good stuff. But we got crapped on the Mythics, man. I mean, we got a foil Mythic, but... All right, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, aliens from around the universe, um, we're going to Ultimate Masters. Let's really see. Let's see, everybody. Let's clean it up. Set her up. Oh. All right, Karn is humping Liliana on top. That's a good sign. Box stopper. All right, Karn on top of Lily is a very good sign, everybody. Justin, oh, I just knocked over your commons. You may be redeemed into the close. You might get redeemed. Let me try to straighten this. Sorry, everybody. I am just knocking crap everywhere. Hold on. I got it. We got this. 
You guys really think that was that bad of a Masters 25 box? I actually think the rares, and we got it. Did you see the foils we got? Ancient Stirrings, Dark Ritual, Counterspell. We actually had some decent hits. It's just we got destroyed on the Mythics, and the set is built around getting good Mythic hits. That's kind of the problem with that kind of thing. Okay, just trying to straighten piles for all my OCD people out there that are freaking out. Just look at my hairy arm. Pause it and do yourself a favor. It takes seven minutes. Just take care of yourself. Okay, we're going in. Once you slip it in, there's no going back. Oh, that's right, right. We got the Japanese style pull tabs. Justin, home stretch for all the tomatoes. Are you ready? Oh, wait, the piles are different. That's right. We're going to have to reverse the. Uh, how do we do it? Okay. All right, Gurmag, and oh, hey, golly, it is the best set. Out of the gate, Tomb. And this is going to be, I already know. I told you the, the good sign. The beautiful eyes were here, and we saw Karn on top. So, I mean, we definitely know. All right, here we go. The world famous Ultimate Masters. Conviction, Wall of Reverence. Another decent little card there. All right, I... Watch Ultimate Masters just make everything else look like garbage fire. Watch the hits be ridiculous. And Bridge from the... Oh my god, a hit after hit. Bridge from below. Good con... Oh my god. Ultimate Masters is going to make all these Master Boxes. These. This is why these Ultimate Masters is going to 500. I'm telling everybody right now. Oh god, you got trolled, Justin. You did get trolled. Kitchen Finks. It does feel that way, doesn't it? It feels like every box either has a lighthouse or a troll in it. Kind of does feel that way. Sometimes I don't feel like that stuff is an accident. The doll, Leovold, Emissary of Treth. First mythic. Not the home run you want inside of the old uh, Ultimate Master set, but overall, still a good hit. Not going to complain about a, hit, a Leovold hit. First mythic, Lee. God, you've got so many good rares. Oh my god! Come on, Testicle Farm! Are you serious? And oh my god! It's the best Master set ever. It really is the best master set ever. Foil Celestial, fifteen dollar altar in one pack. I'm I'm gonna start cutting off these Ultimate Master box openings. I'm gonna keep the last. This is insane. Ultimate Masters really. Oh my, oh my god! Slap me in the eyeball! Oh my god! Foil and Tomb, couple dollar visions. It just it's stupid. It is, it is by far the most ridiculous master set ever made. All right, Wandering Rudy with that beautiful flying chick that just owns all of us. Unbelievable. You know what? We're going we're to do it right in the middle. Not even going to tell anybody. We're doing it. Box topper. Ready? Justin, your whole life is, is down to this moment. Good luck, sir. Nice. Kazalek Butcher of Truth. You did not get the String Wildwood or the Reach Around Lava Claw. Congratulations. Box Topper, Kazalek Butcher of Truth. Fantastic box topper. Very nice. Very nice. And a Lage Token. Foil Split Card, Nobody Cares. And a beautiful Archangel. You know, it's like we just opened every single Master Box ever made in the last couple days. And it really does make you just say, you know what? Back to basics. Oh my god. I think I think back up to 1520, isn't it? And it really is. It it really is the best master set. You know, like it was a meme and a joke, but the more you do it, it really God, there's our light. We got a troll and a lighthouse just for you, Justin. Just for you. You would get the troll and the lighthouse. You would get double tapped. No substitute for the best set. Buried alive and a spoils of the vault. Not a heavy hitting one there. Lily, for the love of God, make an appearance. Make Justin feel good about his life. That's all I'm asking. Is it really that? Is it too much to ask? I don't think it's stirring wild. Oh, my God. A lighthouse. Stirring wildwood. And the troll. All in one box. Justin, don't ever buy a scratch-off ticket, a lotto ticket, or any form of gambling the rest of your life, sir. And you got a Celsius Nice Spider and a Reanimate. Very, very good rare. Very good. So apparently this was supposed to be called Graveyard Masters at one point. How about them apples, anybody? I thought that was kind of interesting. Flagstones of a dollar. Nobody cares. All right. Well, these boxes are short. You only get 24 packs instead of 36. Whew, what a journey, everybody. Repelling your darkness. Oh, yes! In your face!
face, Justin the patron. Told you I'd in the home stretch. In the home stretch. Congratulations. $70 Liliana. Probably the most expensive card you've pulled next to the box topper. That's it. I'm confirming. Ultimate Masters is going to be by far the best master set ever. There's no substitute. There's not even a second place. I cannot believe we just got Lily. Lily, foil. It's, oh my god. What a. Again, just out of control. Out of control. These boxes are out of control. Primus, nobody cares. Unreal. What an epic ending. Liliana saves the day for our bud Justin. Oh, hold on. Admire the art, everybody. Admire the art. Life from the Looms. Got to swing in with another $15 bill. God, more hits in Ultimate Masters so far than I think we've opened on every single one. And Ghouls. Oh, my God. Cut my nuts off and mail them to myself. Return to sender. And, a, oh, my God. So, what, 70? 60, 130, 160, so what, 200, oh my god. Holy smokes, did Ultimate Masters just blow the lid off this game. Rudy's brother, I swear, you always gotta just show up. You don't want people to forget about you. We're gonna forget about you. I promise. What an epic conclusion. What an epic ending. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful scout. Pattern rebirth, beautiful artwork. Even the cards I don't like look good. A lily. We got a flippin' lily and the caverns in one box. Terrible pack. Warrior and a bazaar. Not the bazaar we want. Very last pack of the very last series of the very last master box opening for Justin. And you close it out with a nice Eldrazi conscription. Thank you to Justin. Make sure everybody thanks Justin for allowing us to experience his journey through time. He got pounded on some of the boxes and right at the end absolute mad lad home run ultimate masters i agree it's official ultimate masters is by far the best master box by far